So this is Connor from Mojis. It's a it's a fantabulous little device that uh, well I'm gonna let him tell you about it. I so can't. basically this is a little contact microphone that you can attach to any object and it picks up the vibrations of that object and plug it into your iPhone or into an iPad or into your computer and those vibrations that you create are analyzed and resynthesized in real time so that it's not just the sound of the raw audio of the table but it's actually given a musical tone. That's cool, and you can you can uh, set the tone. Yeah, in the so app. it allows so. you to train what we call gestures. So imagine that I were to play this table using my thumb. I could associate that to a kick drum, to a bass sound, sure. to a synth sound. I could then train different parts of the table, or using different types of exciters like sticks or coins or rings, and it will be able to tell the difference between them and associate the different sounds based on my actions. So I can basically turn anything into a playable musical instrument. Very cool. Where did this idea come from? And who <laughs> so there's a guy called Bruno Zamberlin, and he was studying a PhD in IRCAM, mm -hmm. and he came up with the basic idea of using contact microphones and analyzing gestures in real time to create some synthesis. Um, but uh, we did a Kickstarter campaign a couple of years ago, and it went super, super well. And now here we are, we've got a small team based in East London and working every day to make this an awesome product. It's not running on batteries or anything? No, yeah. it's no batteries, it just goes straight into the iPhone. That's yeah. cool, and you have your own interface for that? or it's Yeah, so this is the Mojis app, and on it you can choose between four of our sound engines. And uh, there's a bunch of different presets, you can change the pitch, you can change some of the synthesis parameters. But more importantly, you can train those different gestures so that you can play different notes using different types of hits. Sure. Yeah. Um, can your settings be saved for certain surfaces? Yeah, sure. So you just close it, reopen it, the sounds are there. I should also say that it's got MIDI input and MIDI output. So uh -huh. I can send MIDI based on my command, so I can use it as a MIDI controller. It works super well with stuff like Ableton Live, so I can control effects or trigger my own samples or things like that. But I can also receive MIDI input to kind of pre-composed tracks in advance, right. or if I've got a song, plug in my emojis, I'm no longer stuck behind a laptop or a keyboard. I can put it on a tree, I can put it on a bike, I can put it on anything around me and use that to play the bass line or the melody line or whatever. Nice. Are there any applications for this on another instrument? Yeah, so you could put it on something like a guitar and you could play drums by playing you know, percussion on the side of the guitar or control loopers or effects and things like that. Uh, we've seen some drummers do some awesome stuff about just drumming but controlling effects based on hitting the rim or working their way to the side or even just lad adding a layer of pitch to things like cajon and cool, yeah. cool applications like that. Cajon yeah, for sure. What's the retail <laughs> price of this? So I think in Germany it's 129 euros. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, we're online, we're on Amazon. If you just Google Mojis, you'll be able to find out some of our videos and links. Great. An interesting device with a lot of applications. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks. Cheers. All right, then. <laughs>